This question looks like it's testing tense. Um, we don't have words that are really uh, singular versus plural verbs. We just have kind of different versions of the verb. And so tense probably matters, maybe sentence structure a little bit. But let's take a look and see what we got. A model created by biologist Luis Valente predicts that the rate of speciation, the rate at which new species form, on an isolated island located approximately 5,000 kilometers from the nearest mainland, being triple the rate of speciation on an island only 500 kilometers from the mainland. Oh boy. So good rule of thumb generally for the SAT is being as an answer choice is usually wrong. If it appears as part of a choice, it's just, it's, it's not good. It usually makes a sentence kind of weird and it, it kind of makes it lose its sentence-ness. Um, it becomes kind of like a fragment. So in this case, no, no difference. This is, this is bad. But trying to understand the sentence is confusing because there are these interruptions. So what I might do is get rid of the interruptions, just kind of read it a little bit uh, more easily. A model created by biologist Luis Valente predicts the rate of speciation on an isolated island um, located, five th I guess I need all this, uh, from the nearest mainland to be, triple the rate of speciation, will be, to have been. It's definitely not the past tense, so that's wrong. So it predicts it. See, to simplify the sentence, the model, the model predicts the rate something uh uh yeah triple <laughs> the rate dot 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 right so the model predicts the rate on one island will be triple the rate on another now the reason it's will be is probably mostly because of the word predicts right if you predict something it's what's going to happen so will be is for the future tense, so that seems the most right. Um, I think some people are going to be tripped up and pick choice B here. Um, honestly, if, if you wrote this sentence in like an essay with choice B in there, I probably wouldn't notice that it's wrong. Um, it feels kind of okay. It's kind of weird, but it's not like noticeably weird. It's mostly because I can compare B and D that I'm like, okay, D is better, right? A prediction happens in the future, so will be is, is going to be better. Um, yeah, the reason B is wrong is mostly it's just like, it's, yeah, it's, it's the wrong tense. It's not predicting it now. It's predicting what will happen. That's just how predictions work. So um, if you're ever torn between two choices on something like this, my advice is there is some element of like a gut feeling. You have some sort of like unexplainable vibe maybe from a choice. I, I would say try to just defer to that. Um, don't overthink things. You, If you speak English naturally, you're going to have certain feelings about tense issues and sentence structure issues. And so hopefully if you just follow those when you're torn between two choices, you'll make the right choice.